Hinks's Boatyard, which is at Watertown, not very far from the lifeboat station and where I live. Now, as a youngster, I used to spend a lot of time out there uh, watching the boats being built and talking to the men that built the boats. And I believe in this photograph, this is possibly some of uh, two of the last boats built in the yard before it finally shut down in the early 1980s. It's nice to see. Um, boat building, but boat building in a traditional way, it was built in wood. And, that, and it's also the yard where they built the, the Nunsuch, a uh, very old sailing ship in the 1960s it was built, and also the Golden Hind, which Sir Francis Drake uh, from the Spanish Armada had a, had a vessel called that. Hinks has built a replica of it, which is in London today, still afloat. And that, but also numerous other boats that have been built in this yard are still about in Appledore as well. I like being on the water. Didn't like being at school. I like to be on the water. So I used to spend a lot of time in the boatyard talking to the old people in there, the old shipwrights, and that Mr. Hinks and his brother, and a few other men in that, and um, help out sometimes. I'd be given a chance to, to help, which was nice. And I used to try and go out there, but being a girl, in, in the days of the shipyards then, a lot of girls were not allowed to be in the shipyard. It wasn't a place for girls to be. So as much as I wanted to follow Martin and do things to go with Martin and go out to see these places, I wasn't allowed to go in because I was a girl. So in those days, it was just for the boys and the men allowed to go in these yards not for the girls and the ladies, they weren't allowed to go in. So I used to have to stay outside, be on the, the outside the yard, in where the, where the um, ship used to come out on the ramps, and I used to play around there waiting for Martin to come out, so that, because I wasn't allowed to go in. But I used to like the smell, I remember the smell of the wood. I loved the smell of the wood. That was all fresh, cut from, like, from the trees. In the old days, there was wood everywhere around the yard, wood shavings, all sorts of things lying around the boatyard, um, people going to and fro, but also um, during the lunch hours, there was no such thing as a canteen or anything like that. The, the men would just sit down on the job. Basically where they worked or where they were working in the yard, they would just sit down and have a cup of tea, have their dinner and things like that. Just talk, wouldn't they? And general getting on with the work, a lot of bands are going on, a lot of talking and that, especially when they were um, planking a, a vessel and that, so they, they took the plank straight out the steam box and basically it was a very, very large box and, and the, the timbers were steamed so that they could bend them because the, the, the timber at the time, the, the planks of wood were very, very thick and you couldn't bend them on your own so they had to go in a big box to be steamed for several hours and you had to be very, very quick and these planks of wood were quite hot and that so the lads would run with them and the men and that to the boats and that get them in place and pin them in position and things like that so there was always a lot of talking going on. I always remember everybody always seemed to be happy and talking and enjoying what they were doing so it, um, it was a nice environment to be working in I would say so you know I do remember seeing people always whistling and singing while they were working so it made obviously a, a nice place to work in. But I also like the picture because it's probably one of the last traditions that will never be seen in Appledore, and that's wooden boats being built, and that, which is a big shame, really, because you've lost a, a tradition that's been going on in Appledore for generations, hundreds and hundreds of years. And, and sadly, there's, there's no wooden boats being built anymore in Appledore. So it's one of the reasons why I like it, because it actually captures some of the last traditions in a traditional boatyard. <laughs> 